Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over the process of setting up a Raspberry Pi headless using Windows 10. So I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 4. I'll put a link in the description of the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link to my Raspberry Pi playlist where you can find other Raspberry Pi videos and projects that I've done. So to get started, you need to download a Raspberry Pi image. So I went to Downloads here. I scroll down to Raspbian, and then I use this Raspbian Buster Lite. So it's just a small version of Raspbian that doesn't have like a graphical interface. So I've downloaded that, that's in my downloads folder. I'm going to be using the Raspberry Pi imager to write this image to an SD card. And I made a video on this, that's in my Raspberry Pi playlist. I'll click choose OS here. I'll scroll down to use custom. And then I'll choose Raspbian Buster Lite and I'll hit open. Next I'll plug in my micro SD card. I'll click choose SD card. I want this Transcend USB device, it's my card reader, and then I'll hit write. So this will write the image to the card and then it will verify it. Okay, so that's complete. It says I can remove it from the SD card reader. I'm going to hit continue and then I'll close this down. And then I'm going to pull the card out and I'm going to plug it right back in. And then I'll go to my Windows Explorer and I'll look for that card. So I'm looking for this boot drive. I'll double click on that, I'll right click, and then I'll say new, and then I'll say text document, and I'll just call this SSH. So what that will do is enable the SSH server on the Raspberry Pi image. And now I'll right click on boot and I'll say eject. And I'll go plug this into my Raspberry Pi. Okay, so the Raspberry Pi is plugged into power and it's plugged into network. It doesn't have a mouse keyboard or anything else hooked up to it. So right now the Pi is booting up and it's installing SSH on it. It'll take a minute or two to get all this set up and then I'll access it using the Windows terminal. So I'm using a Windows PowerShell here. So you want to go down to search and then you can type in PowerShell and then PowerShell will come up. So, and I'm using the very latest version of Windows 10. I don't know if the older versions of Windows 10 support connecting to the Raspberry Pi the way we're going to do it. So what I'm going to try here is I'm going to type ping and I'll type raspberry pi dot local. And here we're getting a ping. So the Raspberry Pi has a zero comp type configuration on it where you can access it using uh, a DNS name that it has chosen and it's always raspberry pi dot local. So now what I can do, I'll clear my screen. I can type SSH space pi at raspberry pi dot local. I'll hit enter. So sometimes you might get an error message like this, like if you're writing multiple images to different machines and stuff. This just means that I've already connected to a raspberry pi with this host name, but it was a previous build. So what I want to do is I want to remedy this. So I'm going to type ssh dash keygen space dash r and then I'm going to type the host name, raspberry pi dot local. I'll hit enter, and that will delete the entry. I'll clear the screen. I'll press up to get to my SSH command again. I'll run it a second time. I'll say yes. Then I'll type raspberry. And now we're into the raspberry pi. So if you're going to set up multiple raspberry pis, you're probably gonna to to change the host name on this. So the way to do that, I'll clear my screen. You want to type sudo space, hostname, ctl, then set-hostname, space, and then the name you want. So I'll call it raspberry pi 001, and I don't need the dot local on this part. I'll just hit enter. So now I'll reboot the raspberry pi. Before I do that though, I'll type ip space a, and we can see here that the IP address for the ethernet here is 192.168.7.245. So it's not a bad idea to make note of that in case your DNS or your host name isn't working properly. So now we'll reboot and I'll try accessing it with the new host name. So I'll type sudo space reboot and it'll be a minute or two after this boots and we'll try connecting again. Okay, so I'm going to change the host name here. I'll hit enter. I'll say yes. It's gonna ask for the password. I'll probably type it wrong. Yes, I did. Okay, and now we're logged in. So you can also change your password here and enter in a new password. So that's probably a good idea too. 
And then you can also access the config. So you can type sudo space raspy dash config. And typically I'll go through here and I'll change a lot of localization settings and such. I do have a video of this on my Raspberry Pi playlist if you're interested in that. So what enabled this to work was the SSH file in the boot partition and then also the zero comp uh, DNS in there that allows us to connect to the Raspberry Pi without knowing its IP address. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.